Abnormal conditions associated with the circulatory system. Abnormal conditions associated with the circulatory system. Cardiovascular diseases are disorders of the heart and blood vessels. They may range in severity from minor valve malfunctions to disruptions of blood flow to the brain. Other abnormal conditions associated with the circulatory system are detailed on the following slides. Abnormal conditions associated with the circulatory system. A heart attack or myocardial infarction is damage to the heart muscle resulting from blockage of coronary arteries. Coronary arteries are what feed fresh oxygenated blood to the heart. A heart attack results from untreated atherosclerosis or the hardening of arteries resulting from fatty deposits. These can cause blockages in blood flow. Symptoms of atherosclerosis may present warning signs prior to a heart attack and include pain when the heart is stressed. In the diagram below, we see uh, a healthy artery which has uh, no plaques versus an uh, artery with atherosclerosis which does have plaques. We all have uh, some amount of plaques, but some people who are at risk for a heart attack have more plaques than others. When the blood is flowing through here and the plaque is under stress, if the plaque uh, ruptures, then it will attract platelets, clot, then uh, the artery will become blocked and a person will have a heart attack. Abnormal conditions associated with the circulatory system. In cardiac arrest, the heart stops beating. The heart muscle requires oxygen due to its high rate of cellular respiration. If there is a complete blockage of the coronary arteries from atherosclerosis or a blood clot, which is a thrombus, then blood flow is stopped, causing heart muscle cells to die rapidly. If enough of the heart tissue dies, the heart stops beating. The victim will die within minutes unless cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, is administered, or the heart is restarted. Blood pressure. What is blood pressure? Contraction of heart ventricles puts pressure on blood fluid and causes the blood to flow away into arteries, which expand as uh, the greater volume of blood flows through. The pulse you can feel is the bulging of an artery under pressure from a ventricular contraction. Blood pressure is highest in the aorta. That's over here. Blood pressure is highest there because it's closest to the left ventricle. Uh, blood pressure decreases as it travels to the smaller blood vessels, including the uh, arterioles and capillaries. Uh, and then the veins uh, in the vena cava are under the lowest amount of blood pressure. So when the blood finally returns back to the heart, uh, we have very little blood pressure. Measuring blood pressure. How is blood pressure measured? Blood pressure is measured with a cuff on the arm at the same height as the heart. This cuff measures the amount of pressure in millimeters of mercury, millimeters Hg. Blood pressure is given as two measurements of pressure, systolic and diastolic. The systolic blood pressure is the amount of pressure in the artery at the time of a ventricular contraction, corresponding to a bulge. The diastolic blood pressure is the amount of pressure in the artery when the ventricles are relaxed. Measuring blood pressure. When the systolic pressure matches the pressure in the cuff, sounds of the blood passing through are heard and systolic pressure is measured. When the pressure in the cuff is less than the diastolic pressure, no more sounds are heard and the diastolic pressure is measured. So the pressure of the cuff is represented by this black line up here. And then the pressure in the artery are these lines down here in red. So as soon as the pressure in the artery matches the pressure in the cuff, we get the systolic pressure. And then the blood in the artery continues to force its way through uh, with the pressure of the cuff being applied. And then as soon as the pressure in the cuff is low enough, which is down here, then we don't hear uh, the force of the uh, blood in the artery trying to get through anymore. And that would be the diastolic pressure. This range from systolic to diastolic is uh, the measured blood pressure. High blood pressure. Normal blood pressure for a 20 year old is 120 over 70, or a systolic pressure of 120 millimeters Hg and a diastolic pressure of 70 millimeters Hg. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is determined by a systolic blood pressure above 140 or a diastolic pressure above 90. What causes high blood pressure? High blood pressure can be caused by an inherited predisposition which impacts the regulation of constriction and relaxation of blood vessel walls. 
Constriction of blood vessels causes blood pressure to rise. Dilation causes blood pressure to fall. Chronic stress can lead to high blood pressure as well. Chronic inflammation may damage the endothelium that lines the arteries, promoting plaque formation or blockage. High blood pressure. Treatments. Hypertension can be treated with medication, exercise, dietary changes, or a combination of these. Diuretics, or water pills, are often the first medication given to patients with high blood pressure. This causes a person to urinate excessively and lower blood volume. Although this treatment lowers blood pressure, there are side effects because it has the potential to cause dehydration and electrolyte imbalance. Therefore, this treatment should only be given at a doctor's recommendation and after exercise and diet have been attempted. Fainting or syncope. Fainting or syncope is a sudden and brief loss of consciousness brought on by a drop in blood pressure. This drop in blood pressure results in a decreased circulation in the brain and lack of oxygen in the brain. Fainting may have several different causes which are usually not serious. The causes of fainting are reviewed on the next two slides. Fainting. Syncope. Causes. Drops in blood pressure may be caused by physical problems such as circulatory blockages, problems with heart structure, problems with the heart's pacemaker, or dehydration, low blood sugar, anemia, nervous system problems that cause loss of regulation of blood pressure. Conditions associated with fainting include diabetes, alcoholism, malnutrition, and rare neurological conditions. Stressful situations may bring on fainting in young people such as fear, emotional trauma, or pain. In the elderly, changes in posture, such as going from lying down to standing up, may cause low blood pressure and fainting. Congestive heart failure. Heart failure, congestive heart failure, is a chronic condition caused by weakened pumping of the heart. It can be the result of having stiff, thickened left ventricle walls or by having enlargement, stretching out, of the left ventricle. Symptoms include shortness of breath, congested lungs, fatigue, swollen legs, and rapid heartbeat. Heart failure is diagnosed by measuring the amount of blood pumped through the heart's left ventricle into the body. There are several types of medical imaging tests that can be used to measure left ventricle function. Congestive heart failure. Treatments for heart failure include various prescription medications, exercise, smoking cessation or quitting, treatments for high cholesterol, decreasing alcohol, decreasing salt in the diet, and limiting fluid intake. 